Hey everyone, today we are gonna look at how we can use Onyx Runtime in Unreal Engine 5 using the new experimental plugin, the Neural Network Inference plugin that is powered by Onyx Runtime. So as part of build, uh, we released this uh, repo that shows you how to use the new plugin. And we're gonna go through the sample code and show you how to use it. So using the uh, plugin itself is pretty simple and there's a uh, graphic here shows you the step-by-step. -step. What we're gonna be building is this, is we have this really basic Unreal scene here where you can see that you know we just have some grass and some stone and if you go into Unreal and you create a basic scene, like this is basically what comes out and then you can just add your own material. So that's what we did. And then for this example, we actually used models from the Onyx Model Zoo. So if you were to go to the Onyx Model Zoo and take a look at the uh, fast neural style transfer, um, you can see the different models that are available. You get some sample code here and then you also can go to where um, the models were built using PyTorch. But if we jump back here, um, you can see here's an example of one of the models that will under that we're going to learn how to do this, how to do this actual style transfer on our game real time in the engine. So here's an example of the Rain Princess model. This is the painting it was trained on. And if you take a look at the repo, we can very much see the influence of that. So I already have this project locally and I already have um, hit run and I have my Unreal editor up. So if we were to take a look at this, if I hit play, you're actually gonna see this happening real time. So this is what we're gonna be building and I can move around with normal game controls and see exactly. So if you look up at the sky, you can see the sky looks just like the painting. I've already imported my five models. You could do this by dragging and dropping your models in here. And the other thing is that in the style config here, we can actually use this drop down then to switch to the model that we want to apply. So if we go back to our code and and take a look at how we actually applied this. We have two main classes here. We have our neural network, and then we also have our real-time style transfer view extension. Um, so you can see that we're uh, using the OpenCV plugin, which is another experimental plugin that's part of UE5. So when I hit play and it starts, we actually can set a breakpoint and step through how this is working. So here we are creating our neural network, which is our logic that has our, our um, actual inferencing. We're setting the device to GPU. And then we are setting it to the model. So in order to actually um, get this to work, we need to uh, create a texture from our inference result and then apply that to the scene. So we're creating a texture. We're getting the height and width of the scene so we know what to um, size we need it to be. Um, shaped to. So this is where we're actually taking a screenshot or reading the surface data of the input image and adding the RGB values from our raw image that we're going to use to then inference. Here we're copying the texture from the GPU to the CPU and then we're resizing the, the screen image to match the model. So if we were to jump into that, so here we're using our OpenCV. We are creating an input image based on the height and width, setting the um, properties, and then getting the image data. So now this output image is a screenshot of the image that was that is the unstylized image from our game. We're sizing it to the size that we need for the, the model for inferencing. Reshaping it. And this should all look really familiar right here if you've done any computer vision uh, models. Here we're normalizing and um, updating our height width channel. So all of that should be stuff that you have seen if you've um, created a computer vision model before, right? So we're just pre-processing our screenshot of our image to then run it through our neural network inference and then apply it as a texture to our scene. If you take a look at our apply style function, you can see that we are resetting the output image. We're getting that input image that we, we pre-process and then getting back our output here after we have done the inference and pre-processed the inference back into um, RGB values. 
this is where we're actually getting our network, right? So we saw where we set what the model was that we're using. We got our image tensor that we just pre-processed. And then to run the network, it's literally network run, and that is going to run our inference. From there, we wanna get the output. So we can take a look and see what our outputted result is. But then we want to set our results. And here now we're looping through each of our float results, which are RGB values, um, from the inference. And we're going to add the float to a color pixel because if you looked, you should see that there are um, some decimals and things like that. So it's not a, a clear pixel value. So we need to change that float to a color and then add that to our result. Now, if we take a look at some of our helper functions that we um, created, we have our float to color. So we need to clamp our value between 0 and 225. Um, and that's how we're getting our float to color for our RGB values. So here's where we're updating our texture based on the stylized image after we have processed it and created the output from our network. So if we jump into the resize image to match screen, once we have got our model output image data, we can then create that image, resize it to the height and width of our current Unreal game output, getting the result image, then getting our RGB values, creating that as a uint32 color, and then adding that color to back to our stylized image. And then that stylized image is used to update the texture, which is applying the change to the UI. So now if we go back here in our style transfer, we can go ahead and try, let's try the candy model and hit play. And remove our breakpoints. And you can see that we were able to apply the style. Or we could try So if you want to learn how to create these models yourself, check out this PyTorch example, which I will leave the link in the comments. And there you go. That was a really quick example on how we are able to take a PyTorch model, convert it to Onyx, use Unreal Engine 5 and the neural network inference to take the style transfer model, grab a screenshot output of our base scene, take that, pre-process it, inference with Onyx runtime, Turn that into a texture and then apply that to our scene to stylize it real time with artificial intelligence using the open source models or create your own with PyTorch.